Early in the next decade, a set of crewed flights will test and prove the systems required for exploration beyond low Earth orbit. responsibility and the cost for operating and maintaining infrastructure as we do today with the space shuttle program. Isn't it true that commercial entities have never put a man in orbit? Ever. Commercial entities have put every human in orbit that we, the United States has flown. Well, I think it looks so ridiculous and impossible. Um, and you can tell it's real because it looks so fake. Can you touch on how there are air bubbles in space? Um, air, can you be more specific, air bubbles? So yeah, like a lot of times during the footage, the NASA footage, you can see bubbles coming up out of the helmets or kind of from underneath you. Um, how do you explain bubbles in space? Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what you're talking about. Like Honestly, I'll tell you, my time is up now, so I'm gonna tell you this briefly. I think that what you're doing is taking a shot in the dark. You have no way of knowing if any commercial entity will ever be able to put a man in orbit, no matter how much money you throw at them. What you're doing is you're taking NASA's manned space program and making it a faith-based initiative. I yield the rest of my time. <laughs>